Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I want to teach you how to play the awesome YMCA, that awesome song, okay? So here we go, I'm going to teach you pretty much like all the awesome sections in this, okay? There are two main sections, okay? So, okay, the first section is the verse section, the second section is the chorus section. I'll give you a quick preview of both of them so you know what it sounds like and what you're learning. So the verse section goes like this, it's the... Okay, that's the verse section, and then it goes to the chorus section. It's the awesome. This this section goes da 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 Y M C A that part. That part, okay. Okay, etc. Okay, but anyways, so now that you kind of know what you're learning, let's go ahead and teach you how to play it. Okay, so the first section, let's break it up into. Let me see. Uh, Four parts is easier to learn, okay? So the first part, right hand starts on the C sharp here, middle C is here for reference, go over an octave to this C, is the C sharp right next to that, okay? So it goes C sharp, A sharp, and then A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, C sharp, A sharp, C sharp, and that is the first part for the right hand, okay? Simple stuff. One more time, so it goes C sharp, A sharp, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, C sharp, A sharp, C sharp, okay? Yeah, a lot of sharps here, so yeah. You gotta pay attention to that because uh, black notes are smaller, it's easier to miss and slip onto another note, okay? But anyway, that's that for the right hand. Left hand one chord for this first part, the one chord is F sharp major, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. It's a fully black note chord, okay? So with that in mind, the two end together for this first part is very simple. What happens, the first note on the right hand and the first chord goes together like this, together. Like that, simple stuff. One more time, so it goes together. Moving on to the second part, right hand continues. It's kind of like a sequence in terms of contour. It goes D sharp, A sharp, and then A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, C sharp, A sharp, C sharp. And that is the second part for the right hand. One more time, it goes D sharp, A sharp, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, C sharp, A sharp, C sharp. And that's the right hand for the second part, okay? Once you get that left hand, we have one chord here. The one chord is D sharp minor, which is another fully black note chord. It's D sharp, F sharp, A sharp, okay? So with that chord in mind, the two ends together goes like this, D sharp and D sharp minor together. And that is the second part, okay? One more time for the second part, so it goes together. That is the second part. So back to back, the two parts we've learned so far is play like this. Check it out. So it goes. Like that. Moving on to the third part, right hand continues. It goes D sharp, B, B, A sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B, D sharp, up to F sharp, D sharp. And that's the right hand for this third part. One more time for this third part. So it goes like this, D sharp, B, B, A sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B, D sharp, up to F sharp, D sharp. And that's the right hand for this third part. Okay, once you get that left hand, we have one chord here. The one chord is B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. So with that B major in mind, the two hands together goes like this, D sharp and B major together. Just like that for the third part. One more time, it goes like this, together. Just like that, and that's the third part. So back to back, the three parts we've learned in this section goes like this. Like that. Moving on to the fourth and last part, right hand continues, it goes F, D sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp. And that's the right hand for this fourth and last part of this section before it repeats, okay? One more time, it goes F, D sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp. And that's the right hand for this fourth part. Once you get that left hand, we have one chord here for this fourth part. The one chord is C sharp major, which is C sharp, F, G sharp. So with that C sharp major in mind, the two ends together goes like this, F and C sharp major together. Just like that. One more time, so it goes together. 
that is the fourth part. So back to back, the four parts is played like this. So the whole of the section is actually played for two times, even though original is played twice. So I'll just give you, I'll show you what I mean right now. So yeah, so back to back, the four parts like this. see let's move on to the uh, second and chorus section okay so what I did just then was just improvisations made up on the spot but it's everything still based on the melody and chords okay the chords just do like patterns but I'll tell you at the end of the lesson uh, what you can uh, do and stuff okay but anyway let's move on to the awesome chorus section the YMCA part okay so the first part goes like this uh, let me see uh, da, 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 da. okay Four parts. I was just counting how many parts we should break it up into. Okay, so the four parts. The first part goes like this. Right hand starts on the A sharp. So A sharp, C sharp, alternate for three times. So one, two, three, and then D sharp, C sharp, D sharp, C sharp. And then it goes uh, the A sharp and C sharp alternate for two and a half times. One, two, and then A sharp, G sharp, like that. And that's the first part. One more time for this first part. So it goes like this. A sharp, C sharp, alternate for three times. One, two, three. D sharp, C sharp, D sharp, C sharp. A sharp, C sharp, A sharp, C sharp, A sharp, G sharp, like that. And that's the right hand for this first part. Left hand, one chord here is the same first chord as the first section, which is F sharp major, which is the fully black note chord. F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. With that in mind, the two hands together goes like this. The right hand starts first. D sharp and F sharp major together. Like that. That's the first part. One more time, so it goes like this. And that is the first part. Moving on to the second part, right hand continues, it goes G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, D sharp. Okay, that's the second part. One more time, so it goes like this. G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, D sharp. And that's the right hand. Pretty short, five notes. Left hand, we have one chord here is D sharp minor, which is D sharp, F sharp, A sharp. With that in mind, the two hands together goes like this, G sharp and D sharp minor together. Just like that. One more time, it goes like this, together. Like that. Okay, back to back, the two parts we've learned so far goes like this, check it out. Third part right hand goes more than an octave jump to this 10th jump to this high F sharp down to D sharp and then three F sharps one two three D sharp and then repeat those um, six notes once again F sharp D sharp F sharp F sharp F sharp D sharp like that so yeah those six notes play for two times here for this uh, third part okay so one more time it goes F sharp D sharp F sharp F sharp F sharp D sharp repeat those six notes one da, 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 like that. So that's the right hand for this third part. Left hand, we have three chords here. The three chords are, okay. So it's easy to do it like this. G sharp minor with the extra uh, top uh, root note. So it's G sharp B, D sharp, higher G sharp like that. Because the second chord, it's like similar to this chord, but all you need to do is move this uh, top note down half a step. And this is G sharp minor with the major seven, okay. And then the third chord, once again, we move this top note half step downwards, and this is G sharp minor seven. Yeah, just like that. And then you can optionally do it another half step if you want. Now, I do that in the cover, okay? But anyway, regardless, that's optional, okay? So up to you. So G sharp minor with the top uh, root note, and then move down half step, another half step, and then optional another half step to make it four chords again. So the two hands together goes like this, if you put it together. So right hand starts first. Together. Here, together, here. So you can see it's like a pattern. It's like together, here, together, here. Okay, one more time, it goes together, here, together, here, like that. Yeah, so that's that for the third part. So you can do it without the last chord, you can be like, like that. Just hold that G sharp minor seven chord by itself if you want. But anyway, yeah, the two, uh, uh, let's actually finish off with the 
other parts world before we recap everything and the right hand continues F sharp D sharp F sharp D sharp C sharp F sharp F sharp D sharp and that's the right hand for this fourth and last part one more time it goes F sharp D sharp F sharp D sharp C sharp F sharp F sharp D sharp and that's the right hand for this fourth and last part before it repeats left hand just one chord C sharp major C sharp F G sharp so with that G C sharp major in mind the two hands together goes like this right hand starts with the first two notes Next F sharp and C sharp major together. And that's that. One more time, it goes together. And that's that. Okay, back to back, all four parts of this section is played like this. And once again, this particular section is played twice, like this. do to make it more catchy like the original is obviously to just uh, do this improvisation like the uh, octave and then just like bouncy rhythms okay based on the chords everything is based on the chords you can see F sharp major I'm just playing the notes from the F sharp major that's how it works D sharp minor and all this kind of stuff. Okay, so if you want to learn more about how to do all these like improvisations, how to make stuff more advanced and all this kind of stuff based on melody and chords, go ahead. I teach all of this on my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below. You can check it out for yourself. As for now, you can check out the rest of my channel for multiple, multiple thousands of piano videos for you to enjoy and learn from. And as for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.